Guys, she found a little baby bird laying on the floor, helpless and dead because this little guy fell out of his nest. Do you see that right there? If you look really, really closely, all the way up in the tiki hut right there, you can see like the nest kind of hanging out right there. Oh my goodness. It almost looks like a little duck. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are all are having an amazing day so far. So guys, in today's video, I literally just received a call from my mom telling me that I need to head to my brother's house immediately because guys, when she went under the tiki hut this afternoon to grill some food, guys, she found a little baby bird laying on the floor helpless and dead because this little guy fell out of his nest. Now guys, she didn't tell me much because she had to get off the phone, but she told me that this little baby is really, really tiny. It has yellow feathers and its body is all black. Now guys, from the top of my head, I literally have no idea what type of baby bird this is. So we're just gonna have to head to my brother's house and check out the situation for ourselves and do a little investigating and check out the scene where this little baby fell. But guys, before we hop into today's video, I'm going to give you all an update on the little rescued black puppy. So here we have the pretty girl right here and I think she's looking for a spot to go to the bathroom, but she gets along amazing with Coda and Duke right here. You can see she is fitting right in with the pack and this little girl is going pee pee. Are you going pee pee? You're so cute. So she is having a blast running around getting her energy out and she absolutely loves the boys. Now guys we took her to the vet. We checked if she has a microchip and unfortunately she doesn't have a microchip. We've also put out flyers and we've had no luck. So guys what we are going to do now is we are going to make sure this pretty girl gets all of her shots. She gets dewormed and then we are going to be putting her up for adoption to find her forever home if we don't find any luck finding her parents. But guys, I want to give a huge shout out to Anna Tulai for picking the name Willow for this pretty girl. I mean, I thought it was an absolutely adorable name and it fits this girl perfectly. And look at this little crazy girl. And guys, I want to give a shout out to anybody else who picked the name Willow for this sweet girl. I mean, look at her go. Baby, you're crazy. Come here. Come here. Come here. So we have just arrived at my brother's house and of course we have to get greeted by little Milo. You wanna go home? I know, buddy. You're gonna be going home today. So the reason that Milo is here is because my brother's out of town, my dad is out of town, and my mom wanted Milo to stay here at Jacob's property. But of course I have Duke and Coda at the house with me to protect in case anything happens, but I don't see anyone in sight. Zeus and Xena are coming to greet me, but right off the bat, you can see that we have two giant tiki huts. Now this is the first giant tiki hut and the biggest that we have here. And then there's one actually right behind this tree. Now you can't see it, but you can actually see the posts. Now I'm not sure exactly which tiki hut that this little baby was found under, but guys, we're gonna, we're gonna head inside, go call my mom out so she can help investigate with us. All right, so my mom has come out Hello. and she has been watching Jake Jacob's property for about how many days now? Three, three, three days, days three and days. she's been doing an absolutely amazing job. And where did you find this little baby bird? Well, Which tiki hut? I came to this tiki hut to put some. All right, so on this one grill. right here. And as I was walking um, through this little area here. I so wait, you're you're going to put burgers on? I was going to put burgers on here, okay. and as I walked, I saw this like fuzzy thing Laying on the here? ground. Right here, right here on the floor, right by the wait, table. Wait, wait, did it fall on that or was it, what do you mean? No, it was underneath. I moved this chair because later on in the evening when I came, I said this is where it's found when you came over and then we looked up and we see the nest and we saw the mommy uh, bird oh, which is not in there. my goodness guys, yeah, that is, that is definitely the nest right there. I mean, do you see that right there? If you look really, really closely, all the way up in the tiki hut right there. You can see like the nest kind of hanging out right there and that that is definitely where the babies are. I mean, you saw the mom you said, right? So as we discovered the nest, we can uh -huh. see the tail of the mom sticking out, but you can see that part of the nest is like pulled yeah. down. So I'm thinking that the baby just fell out. Yeah, guys, I'm assuming that this baby fell out because the nest probably wasn't properly made or when the mom was laying her eggs and the babies were hatching, I mean, the nest probably got moved around a little bit and this baby fell out. So you put this here because you don't want it there just in case you had any more that yeah. would drop out that you could possibly yeah. say that's really that's really a smart idea so because sad. guys if another baby fell out of this nest it would directly land on it here and she was hoping that you know this lawn chair right here would give this little baby some padding and if another baby falls guys we're gonna have to actually put 
more padding because I'm not sure if this chair is gonna do do any good. So where's the baby? Um, the baby's over here. All right, guys. So we're gonna see the baby for the first time. So, I haven't seen it yet. It's so. So pitiful. Oh my goodness. It almost looks like a little duck. Oh my gosh, I didn't think it was going to be this tiny. Guys, I have literally never seen a baby bird this tiny. This this is insane. Now, I don't want to get too close because this baby has flies swarming on it and has I think a couple ants around it. So, I don't I don't want to get too close to, you know, shock you guys, but oh my gosh, if I put my hand next to this little guy, look how tiny, guys. That that is insane, but right off the bat, just by even looking at the baby, you can tell that it's a dove because if you see, it's a black body. When doves are babies and they're growing their feathers in, their entire body is black. So right off the bat, looking at this baby, you can just tell that it's a baby dove. But I have never seen a baby dove this tiny, and I've never seen one that's yellow. So these babies must have hatched literally only a couple days ago. Now the next step that we're gonna take is before we actually give this little baby a proper burial, we're gonna set up padding under the nest just in case this happens again. The baby has a 50-50% chance of making it and surviving this, this insane fall. I mean, that has to be about like 10 feet up. But if you look right here, if you take a close look, that is actually bird poop and there is no other bird that would poop there but the mother. You can see it's directly under this chair, but you can see if the baby would fall, I'm assuming it would land right here and maybe even hit the wood and fall down. So we're going to be putting the padding on top of this lawn chair. So it's a little closer to the nest. What we're going to do is we're going to pull it slightly this way. All right, so we're pulling it a couple inches. Now the reason I did that is because now the baby will most likely land in the middle of the chair right here. Now that is what I'm hoping for, but obviously I don't wish upon any baby falling out of the nest. Hopefully these babies stay in the nest. The mom gets to raise them until they're fledglings and then they decide to come out and fly out of the nest on their own. But just in case in a tragic event where another baby falls out, we want to be very prepared. So guys, we brought a towel and we brought a blanket out so we can pad this chair right here. So the mom hasn't returned yet, but we're just gonna go on ahead and start padding the chair. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna lay it right here and that already gives it some padding. And then we're actually not gonna open this blanket up all the way. You can see it is folded in half right here and we're just gonna go and lay it on the chair right here. So that is definitely enough padding just in case a baby falls. If you guys to come take a look right here, we have about three layers of blankets and towels right here. So if a baby falls, it has a good chance of making it. But it's been quite some time already and the mom still hasn't returned. So my guess is that she's still out looking for food before the sun goes down, but hopefully that she hasn't abandoned her nest. Now, I don't think she would abandon her nest because it's not likely she would, but because it's under this tiki hut, we have the grill here. There's always a lot of commotion. Everyone likes to hang out here. There's a bunch of seating areas. That could be the reason why a mom bird gets spooked off and abandons her nest. So what we're going to do for the next couple days is we are going to be keeping a close eye on the nest, making sure the mom continually returns and is feeding her babies. But now what we're going to do is we are going to go give the little baby a proper burial. So we have picked the perfect burial spot. We have the little baby in a napkin right here and we're just going to go on and start digging. So we're going to give it our first go. And now this is pure limestone. You can see that it is going to be pretty difficult to dig up this hole. But once we have the hole dug up, guys, I will be right back with you all. So guys, we have our hole dug and we have dug it just a little bit, but what is perfect to fit this little baby inside. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go on ahead. We're going to place this little baby inside like so. And we're just going to take the dirt and go on ahead and slowly start Packing it on top of this baby. Okay, so we're going, we're going, and now we want to make sure that we really secure this baby in because we don't want any predator digging up this baby and having it as a snack. But guys, that is going to end today's video. If you all enjoyed today's video, give this video a big thumbs up. And guys, I want you to comment down below a little prayer that this baby makes it up to birdie heaven. Now guys, if you want to see if this mom returns or if she has abandoned her nest, well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel and the link below to find out.